Cause girls like you go around with guys like me to sundown when I come through I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah Girls like you love fun and yeah, me too it's your girl Layla. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about the first items that I ever purchased at Sephora. And I'm going to give you guys kind of a review on this. I saw Kiki Chanel do this video and that's where I got this idea. So shout out to her. So this video is actually called my first ever Sephora orders. So I'm going to go on to the Sephora app. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, Sephora hasn't always been around throughout my whole like growing up and stuff like that. I think they opened a Sephora here in my city when I was like 15. Yeah, like around the time I was 15. But before that, I was purchasing like Too Faced and other makeup brands like that. I was really obsessed with lip gloss. I was purchasing them at a store called Cora. It was like a little makeup boutique. It doesn't exist anymore because all these Sephora's open around it, which is really sad, but um, that's where I got a lot of my makeup in the first years that I started using it, like lip gloss and stuff like that. I was really super into high-end lip gloss when I first started wearing makeup. It was like my favorite product ever. So I don't know if these are, I don't know how far this goes back. I've never actually looked at my list of purchases. I think this idea is so fun and I want you guys to let me know below what is your, you know, your first ever Sephora purchase. I can tell you what my most recent purchase is. It's the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation and it's actually what I'm wearing right now. So I'm going to scroll, 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 yeah, okay. So my first ever Sephora purchase, I don't know if this is accurate, I feel like I feel like I purchased before this, I just didn't have a Sephora card because I remember when Hard Candy was sold at Sephora before they went into Walmart, they were sold at Sephora and I purchased a lip gloss from them. So that's not in here, that's not my first purchase. but. Oh, and a Too Faced lip palette. I remember that for sure. Okay, so my first purchase according to this app was October 27th, 2018. I was at the Sephora at Chinook here in Calgary, and I believe that is the only Sephora that was in my city at that time. So it's all the way down south. Like, it's so far away from me. I barely ever go there anymore. My first purchase was the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Zero. And I remember this because all of their palettes came with this pencil. Everybody online was talking about it and I believe I did purchase an Urban Decay palette prior to purchasing this eyeliner. I just think I finished the eyeliner and wanted to repurchase it. Everybody on YouTube was talking about it at the time. It was one of the purchases when I first started watching YouTube videos and started getting into makeup and everybody was obsessed with this eyeliner. So it's just a really nice, soft, like glide on pencil. If you haven't tried it, it's such an OG product. Um, I think you should totally try it. I don't really like pencil eyeliner anymore. I wear gel only because my eyes are super watery, especially when I when I like have a pencil and I try to go over it a few times to make it more pigmented. Oh my gosh, my eyes are just ugh, it's too watery. So my next purchase was the Bare Minerals foundation. I got the color Fair. Oh man, I remember this and I remember why I bought it too. So it's the OG like Bare Minerals foundation. Oh my gosh, it's thirty six dollars right now, you guys. I don't. I think it was maybe 25 back then at the most. I don't remember it being 36. That's crazy. Wow. And a lot of people still buy it too. Dang. So yeah, this is like the OG classic. Um, when I purchased it, it looked like the Laura Mercier loose powder. It didn't have like this weird ass sifter that's going on right now. I purchased this because my cousin was having her 18th birthday and I wanted my skin to look nice because you guys back then I had acne galore. I have this whole video talking about how bad my skin was in high school and how I struggled with acne but I bet you the only makeup product that I ended up wearing to her birthday was this foundation and like a lip gloss or something like that. Yeah I should have got my makeup like professionally done or something like that but 
I don't know. This foundation was everything though. I caked it on so much to cover up everything on my skin, but my skin looked flawless after I buffed it all in and everything, even though I did cake it on. Um, and I feel like it did make me pretty greasy after a while, so. I don't really like this foundation very much. It's a Reader's Choice from a Lore Award winner for 10 years. Original foundation. I must have got it on the year it came out or something because this was 2008. So that was December 4th, 2008. My cousin's birthday was on, I believe it was like February, but I wanted a few months to test out the foundation, make sure it didn't break me out or anything. So that's that. The next purchase was on December 23rd, 2008. You guys, I was working at Superstore at this time. Like I, I was working retail, so I couldn't afford a lot of high-end makeup. I would purchase one expensive thing every paycheck or try to do that. So a lot of times it would be clothing. I would, I really loved Aritzia. I really loved TNA brand specifically so a lot of my stuff was TNA a lot of my stuff was from Aritzia and if you guys ever shop at Aritzia it's pretty expensive so I would either purchase one clothing item or one makeup item that's oh, that's what I would allow myself to do and the rest I would save my money so tips for you guys that are in retail my next purchase was on December 23rd 2008 and you guys I was probably last minute Christmas shopping with my mom because she does this every year. So I probably went into Sephora to try to find this. I remember this, okay? So this is the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in the color Yeo. And Yeo is a white with like a little bit of shimmer to it. I remember being obsessed with watching purse buzz videos and she was obsessed with this and she would do like an inner corner highlight with it. And I also wanted it to multitask as like a white eyeliner, but White eyeliner just for some reason does not look good on me. It looks very harsh and unnatural. Like I, I don't like the way white looks on me. So when I purchased this, I was a little disappointed. I couldn't use it for that, but I did wear it as an inner corner highlight for a while. And you know what? I probably still have this. Hold on. Oh my God, the nostalgia. Okay, I found this in my eyeliner stash. I don't wear a lot of colored eyeliners. That's why this is still in here. Oh my gosh. So I've had this since December 23rd, 2008, <laughs> and I've barely used it, as you guys can see. So this is definitely an impulse purchase. How much did this cost me? $25 Canadian. I think the price did go up. Do they still make this? They totally still make this. It's described as a metallic white. Okay, I don't recommend this, but this is what it looks like. I've sharpened it a few times, so it looks like pretty much brand new in its packaging. So, oh wow, you guys, it still glides on perfectly. It still glides on perfectly, look at that. That is Yeo right there. It's definitely a metallic white. Oh, I might as well try to use that. <laughs> Probably not, but y'all, wow, nostalgia. So the next purchase was on April 10th, 2009, and it was another Bare Minerals powder in the color Fairly Light. So I probably realized I was wearing something way too dark for myself, and I decided to go lighter. My next purchase after April 2009 was February 13th, 2010, probably because I either got another Sephora card or this was around the time that I started being obsessed with MAC and purchasing from every single MAC collection. So I feel like I ignored that Sephora ever existed for a good like year. <laughs> That's what I feel like. That's what happened. So my next purchase was the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara. Oh my gosh. I love this stuff so much. I was obsessed with it. It was my favorite mascara. I remember wearing this for my 18th birthday. We did like a whole... Um, like Filipino style 18th birthday, you know, like 18 roses, 18 candles. It was a big deal with like a gown and everything. I did not even wear false lashes. I wore this mascara. So it was really, really amazing. I love this mascara. And I probably, if I didn't have lash extensions, would probably be wearing this to this day. My next purchase was on the same day, February, February 13, 2010, you guys. I bought three things that day. <laughs> So I bought the Smoky Lash Mascara, I bought a Cora's Lip Butter in the color Jasmine. Oh my gosh, OG right there, OG lip product. 
I loved Cora's lip butter. I loved the jasmine one. It smelled so good. I don't even know if they... They don't carry it anymore. That is so sad. Ugh. It, it's $16, but I believe back in the day it was only like $12. And I think they still sell this at Shoppers Drug Mart, if I'm not mistaken. But they don't have it at Sephora anymore. That's so sad. My, purchase, my other purchase on that day was the Urban Decay Glide-On Pencil in Zero. Yeah, I had an obsession with that eyeliner for a while. My next purchase was on August 21st, 2010, and it was the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Facial Cleanser. Oh my gosh, that was the worst purchase of my whole entire life. Okay, that stuff broke me out so, so, so bad. At that time, I was strictly only using proactive skincare. I still do use proactive skincare. I think their cleanser is amazing, and it's really the only thing that I feel like it's the only cleanser that actually cleans my skin and doesn't leave a weird film or residue on my, on my face. But I've tried, you know, working with other cleansers since then. I've tried some from Sephora and they've been really good but this philosophy stuff i remember buying it because a lot of people on youtube were recommending it so this is a youtube made me buy it youtube made me break out because my skin was so freaking bad after using this and this was 2010 so i was 18 okay so my acne kind of cleared up by the time i was uh, 17 i want to say and like it, it just went all the way back on my skin. It was so bad, you guys. So I don't recommend this stuff. And it was $32. I returned it, that's for sure. I remember purchasing my Naked palette around this time. So I must have not had my Sephora card or something. So my next purchase after that was a Sephora Collection Precision Pore Cleansing Pad for $8. I love this stuff. If you guys don't have a Clarisonic, this is like the next best thing and it's literally eight dollars canadian it's probably even cheaper in the u.s and um it just it's a rubber cleansing device cleansing device <laughs> and it just it just cleans your skin it makes it feel so nice last thing i'm gonna tell you guys about this was on july this was on july 5th 2011 and it was the makeup forever dual matte powder foundation in the color ivory $43. Wow. Wow. $43 for a powder. Dang. Actually, I'm going to tell you guys one more thing after this. Okay. So I remember this stuff. I got the color 201 Ivory. And I really like this foundation. It was a really good foundation. I would just cake it up so much that I would just be wearing that and no liquid foundation underneath. And the next purchase after that was the Nails Ink Wave Metallic Polish. And if you guys remember these, they were the magnetic polishes that came out in late 2011. And everybody was obsessed with them because they would make these like designs on your nails effortlessly with a magnet. I don't know if they still make them anymore because honestly, I haven't seen them in the longest time. But um, yeah, I remember this stuff. I felt, I felt like it was so gimmicky too. So... This was $18 for one nail polish. It went on sale for $11 and they currently don't stock it at Sephora anymore. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for my first purchases at Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know your first purchases from Sephora. You can check them on the app or on the Sephora website. They have a list of everything you've ever purchased and where you've purchased it, which is really cool. And, you know, going back to see which products you may have loved and forgot about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever wanted. We could do it real big. Bigger than you ever done it. You be up on everything. Other hoes ain't never.